It's heard more and more people are in need of help as the stay at home order stays in place. And the reasons vary from sudden lack of income because of job loss to not being able to run errands without risking getting coronavirus. Karen Lee joins us from her home tonight. And Karen, the good news is people are really stepping up to help. Yeah, we can always use more people, right, Dominic? Always short on that. Meals on Wheels, it's, it's a great organization. We've heard a lot about it throughout the years. It helps people with isolation and hunger for our older adults. It's much busier than usual right now. But with the stay-at-home orders out, they are actually down volunteers. Our Jamie Larry checked in with them to see how things are going. Meals on Wheels is a critical service more than ever right now, and the volunteers especially crucial. The meals that they serve and the time that they spend on this community, without them, the people that they serve might not get a meal at all. You know, people that are stuck in their home, older and stuck in their homes and unable to leave or drive or any of those things, as a rule, in a normal time, are, are tending to be real lonely and really look forward to a visit by someone every day. Meals on wheels, Ms. Gaskin. There's not much that would keep Lindy Sinton from her delivery route. You get to know the people and you just, there's nothing better. Following along with her Thursday, we started to see what she meant. Every knock greeted with a smile. You look wonderful. I feel great. Meals on Wheels is needed now more than ever. The demand has increased since the pandemic. Currently, volunteers are delivering a minimum of 2,500 meals a day. And due to COVID fears, there are fewer volunteers. For a lot of people on the route, this may be their, this probably this is their only hot meal, maybe their only meal for the day. It's uh, one third of your uh, required daily nutrients. Hola. It's more than a nutritious meal. To those Lindy meets, it's about the company. But social distancing means Lindy can no longer stay and talk. But still, we get to check on people every day, smile, say hello, smile, but they can't see us because we have our masks on, and, uh, and make sure that they're okay. Most on her route are well over 80. They can't ask for help on social media. These volunteers are it. Right now, there's just so little contact with their families aren't coming to see them and or don't feel safe doing that. It's invaluable that people in this way are able to reach out to other people. For more information on how you can help, visit us online at cbsdenver.com. In Denver, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. All right, Jamie, thank you for that. And a good reminder to all of us that we can find ways to help out if you can, so please do. And a lot of people really uh, could use that warm meal, and Dominic, even just a nice wave or a quick warm smile helps out too these days. Every little thing helps. You're absolutely right, Karen. Thank you.